Welcome to CKA Certification Series Part 8. In this part, we will cover a network policy scenario. The tenth question is, you have a Kubernetes cluster that runs a three-tier web application. A front-end tier it is running on port 80, an application tier that is running on port 8080, and a back-end tier on port 3306. The security team has mandated that, the backend tier should only be accessible from the application tier. Which means we need to implement a network policy on the backend pod. Please look at this diagram. Normally any container can communicate with each other in a Kubernetes environment, unless we apply any network policies. In this case, we can see the frontend pod, and the application pod can access the backend pod without any restrictions. If we want to block ingress from front-end and allow ingress only from the application pod, then we need to apply an ingress network policy in the back-end. This policy will allow the ingress connection only from the application pods, so not only from the front-end pod, but also from all other pods incoming other than the application pod, will be blocked through this policy. I will show this. We have three pods in the cluster. Application, backend, and frontend. Now we can see in even more detailed. First of all, we need to check whether the application pod and the frontend pods have a connection to the backend pod or not. Now we are going to use Telnet for checking the connection from the front-end pod. Okay, you can see Telnet is not available in this pod. So we have to install the Telnet first. Let's update the container base image first, then only we can install the Telnet. Now we are going to install Telnet. Done. Let's try again the Telnet to the backend pod from the frontend pod. Kanishan is getting. Let's do the same from the application pod. Let's update the container base image first, then install the Telnet.
we can see the connectivity to the backend pod from the application pod also. In order to solve this question, we need to take the help of the documentation. Search for network policy. Network policy is a big topic. This is the sample YAML for implementing the policy. If you scroll down, then you can see some technical terms like ingress and egress. Ingress is inbound connection and egress is outbound. If you want to block any ingress, then you can use this YAML. And if you want to allow all ingress, then you can use this YAML. So many samples are here. Let's come to our question. We want to apply an ingress policy in the backend pod. Before that, I will show you one thing. You can see, each pod have a separate labels. Actually, this network policy is working based on these labels. Okay. Let's copy the YAML file. We don't need egress, so just copy and paste this much into a YAML file. Just give a meaningful name for your network policy. Give the matching label as tier equals backend because this network policy is applying to backend pods. We don't need egress. We don't need IP block and namespace selector. So just remove both. Under ingress, we need only the pod selector. Edit the matching label, label it as tier equals application. And, change the port to 3306. Now we are going to apply an ingress network policy on backend pods, which means. After this policy is applied, it will only allow the ingress connection to port 3306 from the application pods, the rest of all pods will be blocked. Let's apply this YAML file. Policy applied. Let's check the connectivity now. Let's try from the application pod. Okay, connection is getting. Let's try from the front end pod.
Yes, our policy is working. You can see the connection from front end is blocking by our policy. Let's describe the policy in more detail. You can see the policy is applied to the pods that are labeled tier equals backend and allowing the ingress to port 3306 from the pods that are labeled by tier equals application. So we have completed this scenario and next time we will cover even more complicated scenarios on network policies. Thank you for watching this video. If you felt this video is useful for your certification, then please do like and subscribe.